So this video looks at um, what happens when you divide a monomial by a monomial. Um, just like when we multiplied, you're going to be first starting by dividing the coefficients. Um, so you deal with the coefficients first and you divide those, and then you're going to use exponent rules and to deal with the variables. In this case, because we're dividing, you're going to be using the division rule, and that means that you're going to subtract the exponents. And then your final answer, as, as always, you're going to try to write the um, variables in alphabetical order if you can remember to do that. So let's look at some examples. So in this very first one, for example, we're going to just follow those steps. We're first going to start by dividing the coefficients. So negative 12 divided by 4 is negative 3. Then we're going to look at each letter and use the division rule. So x to the 6 divided by x to the 3. The bases are the same, so we're going to be subtracting the exponents. Be careful, we're not dividing the exponents. So 6 minus 3 is 3, so that will become x to the 3. We're going to do the same with the y's. y to the 4 divided by y to the negative 2. Now this one you just have to be really careful with. When you subtract a negative, remember that's like adding the opposite. So 4 minus negative 2 actually becomes 6. So this will become y to the 6. So just be really careful with that. Um, if you have some negative exponents in there, just watch out. Um, the second one you're going to do in the same way, but it looks a little bit confusing at first because it's written in a different format. So I would recommend that you write it in the format where you have the one monomial on the top and you have the other on the bottom. And those negatives aren't showing up very well, so I'm not sure if I can erase that and that, and I'll try to write them again. b to the negative 2, yep, yeah, that's a little bit better, and b to the negative 4, that's better. Okay, now this one is looks a little bit trickier because 10 doesn't go into 15. Like over here, 4 went into 12, so it became quite straightforward. But 10 doesn't go into 15. That's okay. 5 goes into both of them. So 5 goes into 15 three times, and 5 goes into 10 two times. So you're just going to leave it as a simplified fraction then. Do not write it as a decimal. So you're either going to write it as a whole number if it does go into it evenly, or as a simplified fraction if it doesn't. Then you're just going to use, again, your exponent rules, and you're going to subtract the exponents. Remember, a means a to the 1, so 3 minus 1 is 2. And then be careful here, this is negative 2 minus negative 4, which is really like adding the opposite. So negative 2 plus 4 is actually 2. So just watch out there. So that will become b to the 2. And then this last one, again, 12 does not go into 8, or negative 8 in this case, um, but 4 goes into both of those. So 4 goes into negative 8, negative 2 times, and 4 goes into 12 three times. So we're going to leave it as a simplified fraction. Again, reminder that x by itself means x to the 1. So x squared divided by x to the 1, you're just going to be left with x or x to the 1. y cubed divided by y squared, you're left with y or y to the 1. And because there aren't any other z's, you're just going to leave that as z to the 4. And that is how you divide monomials by monomials.